just knocked up this uh, little piece out of some plastic pipe that I already had from years gone by and these little corner pieces so kept them glued them uh, once there is it stable uh, stable-ish gonna do it probably there maybe 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 that way maybe out there maybe at an angle who knows but I'll probably put it there to be fair because it'll be more protected from bashing and stuff I've Attached this piece here. Um, don't know how strong it is, really. Uh, I've also cut lots of these little pipes, and I wish I'd used something different because this one's really wonky, and that's probably going to be in sight. But hey, I'll just have to ignore that and live with it because this is a quick build. I've also used some offcuts to make little bridging pieces, random detail pieces in the um, electrical gubbins box. I've also hot glued two. You can't really see it from here. Two pieces together there, which are going to sit on top. But I'm going to paint them separately before I glue them because it's going to be a different colour and it's going to be a bugger to paint because of the shape in the sign to coat it separately. So I'm now going to take this outside because uh, it's not raining and give it a bosh with some of that grey paint that I picked up and see what it does. Just doing a bit of tidying and I made a lovely discovery. There's a shelf kit here which is absolutely perfect for what I need for the shelf on the other board. So on the other panel. So um might be stealing that. I am, after all, going to tidy the workspace, so I, I figure I've earned thieving that. Anyway, just thought I'd share that little discovery. Cut those trims off the side of the cutlery drawers. The edges are really rough and lame, so I've had to try and hide them with some hot glue, recreating weld lines, which is a really easy technique and quite handy, but I don't really like using it that much because I always think it, unless you're really good at it, it always looks just like hot glue trying to pretend to be weld lines. This one here, which is on the second panel, which I've actually started to block out now and, and attach this one piece to, um, is an absolute pain because it's it's just not wanting to stay on, basically, on this board. So I've just used a lot of hot glue trying to make it stay, but it is good gack. So hopefully when I put some details on and painted it, and if it stays solidly, it'll be okay. Um, it's quite nice to see both the boards on, um, sort of standing next to each other, rather. Put some more detail pieces on here, just random bits of gubbins. There's a nice little roll plug in there. Um, so yeah, uh, just going to do a few more. I think I'm going to super glue some more detailing pieces on, on there and maybe on the cutlery drawers just to cheer myself up because that one annoyed me. My father has just helped me rather nicely by cutting this piece of pipe in twain vertically. So I've attached one half across these pieces. This is going to be reflected on the other panel with a bat on there and I'm going to make a piece that will fit on to both sides um, either magnetically or with velcro uh, so that's going to be a separate panel. I've chucked a couple of more random bits of gummins on. Um, these are quite obviously ink cartridges. That's actually got Epson written on it. Other ink cartridges are available. I'm going to cover that with some more gubbins and gack. Done some more on this cutlery tray as well. These are really flimsy pieces just super glued on um, but you know hopefully when it's painted maybe textured and stuff it'll add a bit of depth. Kind of regret using both of these on the same piece because it would have been nice to have something over there on that one but hey uh, I might create some kind of junction bridge here maybe with some plastic pipe that I've got and more excitingly this piece of pipe has been found and appropriated which is ideal it's exactly what I was looking for to go here I'm probably just going to drill into it from the back and then once I've got it in place I can add other stuff I've got picked up some other random pieces of pipe cardboard and plastic of different diameters I've got some lying around the garage so I'm going to try and make a couple of dense looking junction blocks or something don't quite know yet um, I might build the boxes up out of foam or some scrap plastic. I have now used the last of my glue for my hot, trusty hot glue gun, which means I have to go out and buy something, which is annoying. I wanted to avoid buying as much as I could. I'm going to get some more of this grey spray paint anyway, because it, it's a really nice paint. Um, nice kind of satin finish, nice, nice tone, so I'm going to use more of that. So I might go to a shop that sells things for a pound and buy lots of those. Those are little little dome pieces that you can just you can buy 
you've got sticky backs that don't stick so just super glued them on that was to cover up the um the brand name i've now cut the pipe that's going to run down that side which is really good actually i'm quite excited about that uh, i'm really glad i found that because that would have cost me a bit of money so yeah i'm gonna go on a hunt for some plumbing pieces now